Well, welcome back. James Comey, the director of the FBI, was on 60 Minutes Sunday and said this country is losing billions of dollars to cyber crimes. Last week, J.P. Morgan revealed 76 million households were affected in a data breach. And here to tell us how to protect ourselves from all of the cyber crime that's going on out, on out there is uh, Peter Martin. Peter, it, this was phenomenal, and I think that most people don't have an understanding that when you talk about China and others are hitting us each and every day, it could affect us in the billions of dollars, correct? Exactly. Not just as a company, but also individually. Individually. And it's a huge problem, especially after the recent Home Depot breach, where basically 56 million people were affected by that. How do you know if you're one of them? Well, unfortunately, if you've made a purchase at Home Depot using your credit card or your debit card since April of this year to now, you're a victim. So what, so, okay, so let's, I was one of those people. Okay. Me too. So, and I have also had things happen with me in the past with some of these other breaches. Um, give us a checklist of things because I know that I was given a checklist, make sure and check your, your credit cards, make sure you check your credit reports. What are some of the things people should do? Well, one of the things, going back to the Home Depot for a second, the Home Depot is doing to protect people. So what you should do is go to the Home Depot website and they are gonna give you free identity theft protection for the next year. Oh, wow. And that's very important. Yeah. A lot of people are concerned about that because they're not really sure what that means, but basically what it's gonna do is gonna monitor your credit, and if something unusual comes up, they're gonna notify you. So what you also wanna do is you wanna make sure you get your credit report on a regular basis. You wanna watch your bank Which accounts. Which you can get free, by the way. Exactly. Uh, you, there are a lot of scams mm -hmm. telling you that you have to pay for those. Yes, you don't have to pay for it. Right. A lot of your credit card providers actually have a credit alert program, which mm -hmm. you can simply just subscribe to. Mm -hmm. And it's good because what happens is if something they start seeing unusual activity in your credit, they're gonna notify you. A lot of times they will actually call you um, and tell you, hey, we are seeing some charges, especially if you travel. And all of a sudden they monitor and they see that all of a sudden, wait a second, there's a charge in Baltimore, then there's one in California. In a very short period of time, they will actually call you. So you need to be aware of that and watch your credit card statements, but also you need to watch your bank statements. Mm -hmm. And if you see unusual things going on there, immediately call your financial institution. So that's one of the first and most important things you need to do. On so the debit cards, they were saying that there had been some small amounts taken out. So in other words, you'd see 99 cents or 50 cents or $1.10, and you overlook those things to where then they can then come back and get larger amounts, correct? That's exactly what they do. What they're doing is they're testing. Mm -hmm. So they'll put little small charges through and they'll do like 99 cents like this, and they'll test and they'll test and they'll test and then all of a sudden when they see that they've got access, that's when they start hitting you with the larger ones. And the problem is these people are doing it from outside the United States. Mm -hmm. So if they do this, there's really nothing law enforcement here in the United States can do because it's very hard to track those people down and catch them. Mm -hmm. So all you can do is stop them if you find this doing th them doing this to your exactly. card. So is the solution to this changing your card or getting a new card? So let's say, you know, my card was involved in this Home Depot breach. Mm -hmm. Is that just my credit card or is this all of my information? So changing my card won't help. That's the problem. Changing your card will not help. Because what happened with the Home Depot breach was this. They had broken into the Home Depot system. They were in there for five months prior to anyone even becoming aware of it. Home Depot never was aware of it. It was actually the federal um, law enforcement people found out about it and the banks, and they notified Home Depot of the breach. So while they were in there, they were accessing all of your personal information. And that's why it's very important that you watch your credit because if they have your personal information, that's how they now steal your identity. Let's talk about, let's go a little closer to home. There have been some scams in Florida in particular that you'd like to tell us about. Give us some insights. One of the biggest scams that's hitting Florida right now is this, they're sending an email to people and they're targeting Florida and it's become one of the problems in Florida because we're actually now the lumber one state for identity theft. Oh. And that's pretty frightening and they're yeah. targeting Florida and what they're doing is they're sending out emails to unsuspecting people and it says you have won a million dollars or someone has died and they have left you this money. And what they do is they then get you to give them a small fee to cover the legal fees to transfer the money to your account. And it's a very big scam and a lot of people are falling prey to that. And then the other one that's coming out recently is people are receiving emails from their bank. And mm -hmm. actually we'll have, like I got one the other day, it had Wells Fargo on there. Mm -hmm. And it said, Dear Mr. Martin, we believe your bank account has been breached. Please click here and log in to check to make sure no unusual activity. As soon as you click on that link and you activate that link, they are now accessing your computer. So whenever you get an email, the biggest tip I can leave today is this. Whenever you get an email and you're not sure who it's from or it's asking you to click on a link, do not do it. 
If it's something from your bank, pick up the phone and call your bank. Mm -hmm. Don't just trust that, because that's how these people are getting access to your identity, and they're stealing your information. Is it all right to read the email and just not click on it? I've opened emails and then thought, maybe I've already gotten in trouble here just opening it. Opening it is okay. Don't click on the links. The other thing that I will share with you is this. Free Wi-Fi, as, as nice as it is, is extremely dangerous. Whenever you go somewhere and you're taking free Wi-Fi, anything that you're doing on your computer, on a free Wi-Fi network, anyone else that's on that network can see what you're doing. Oh. It's very dangerous, so don't ever do any financial transactions. Don't check your bank account. Don't do anything like that when you're on a free Wi-Fi network because anyone can see what you're doing. What about things like cloud, the cloud and saving your information there? The cloud is still having some security breaches, so as far as financial records and bank information, and especially your passwords, don't store them on the cloud. Where can you put them? I forget mine. In your planner. <laughs> you and I write them down, and that's okay. The old fashioned I forget where way. I write them down. <laughs> Peter, that's thank it. you so much. This is very important, and we would urge all of you, send us emails. If you have questions, we'll try to get them answered for you. It's very important. All right, stay with us. The Accidental Housewife is up next, and then, of course, we'll be in the kitchen doing some wine tasting with Michael's on East.